welcome to IOSIS Insights, where we unlock knowledge to the world. I'm joined today by Professor Evelina Nemchik from the Northwest University in the South Africa and editor of the book titled Education for Sustainable Development in BRICS, Zoom on Higher Education, from the series BRICS Education. We are going to discuss this book's contribution to the specific scientific discourse. Prof, thank you for joining us today. Good day, Lorica. It is my pleasure to be here. Um, before moving forward, just allow me to specify that although I am the lead editor of this special issue, the volume is actually co-edited with my colleague, Dr. Lode Beer. Thank you. Please share a bit about yourself and your involvement in this field of study. With pleasure. I'm a professor in comparative and international education at Northwest University here in South Africa, just to clarify the location for our potential international audience. My research interests are focused on higher education and specifically on different aspects of research enterprise. This includes research productivity, research capacity building, and of course, education for sustainable development. I would define myself as an explorer, a comparativist at heart. I hold not only theoretical knowledge acquired through many years of studying and then teaching, researching in the field of comparative education, uh, but also through my own lived experiences. I have moved quite a bit throughout my life, starting from Poland, where I was born and raised, and then few years in Italy, Canada for over 20 years, and now sunny South Africa. Therefore, the comparative element is kind of an output of my personal and professional experiences in different contexts. What is this book's contribution to the necessary transformation of higher education in BRICS countries towards sustainable practices and policies? Uh, thank you, Laurika, for this uh, important question. Um, in the past few years, my colleagues and I within our comparative subject group dedicated much of attention or focus towards BRICS organization. The organization is inclusive of five member states, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. And in the group, uh, we believe that learning from each other, since we come from such a different complex context, and sharing best experiences in various areas of education can be of huge benefit for our development. Uh, in fact, this special issue uh, is a third volume in the BRICS series, which is uh, started already in 2020. Uh, but allow me to go back to the, to the question that you posed uh, in terms of the transformation. Uh, this volume was meant to place higher education at the core of the necessary transformation to create awareness and change towards more sustainable practices and policies in BRICS countries and beyond. Uh, the aim was also to provide students, scholars, support staff and, and other educational stakeholders with an accessible and informative text uh, exploring sustainable development in higher education institutions, um, a level of education that has been somewhat neglected within the literature. Uh, so by reading the individual chapters within the book, um, the readers will have the opportunity to select information that is relevant to them, uh, to their context, to their field of expertise and educational role, of course. So ideally, the information shared in this book will allow readers to adapt sustainable practices in general in their institutions as well as uh, in their local communities. Thank you. So for the viewers, to publish your book with IOSIS, please download and submit your book proposal form at books.iosis.co.za. Prof, thank you for your time. Thank you for having me.